this morning on Today's Consumer, we're talking about saving money on gasoline. The Memorial Day weekend obviously kicks off the summer driving season. Unfortunately, gas prices about a dollar more per gallon right now than they were this year at the same time. Kevin Tibbles conducted a small experiment to see if making some little changes in the way you drive could save you big money. When I get behind the wheel, I'll admit sometimes I'm an angel and sometimes I'm not. Go on, go past me. Go on, do it. But it turns out some of my bad habits are costing me money. So to see just how much I was wasting, I challenged myself to a little competition. Driving two identical Chevy Cruises, I set out on the same 20-mile route from the leafy burbs to Wrigley Field in the heart of Chicago. Ready, set, go. Oh, wait, how about a cup of Joe for the road? But did you know for every 15 minutes your car idles, you burn a quarter of a gallon of gas? So that $2 coffee just costs you three. Thank you very much. Skip the drive through You're better off parking and going in. Okay, back on the road, I've got to get downtown. Cruising speed, 70. But at 60, I could save four miles per gallon. And at 50, another four miles per gallon. Yeah, but I'm not that good. Pedal to the metal, wait, traffic. This is Chicago, after all. But when it comes to fuel efficiency, if you're hard on the gas and hard on the brakes, you'll end up losing money. Did I mention the junk in my trunk? Yeah, that one. If you use your trunk as a storage unit, you're wasting gas. For every 100 pounds of excess weight, you reduce your fuel efficiency by 2%. I'm cruising now and showing my support for the home team. Turns out a third of your fuel is used to overcome wind resistance. Even these little flags can have a big impact on efficiency. I make good time, but how about my mileage? 24 miles per gallon, that's not yeah. a lot. No, that's... That's driving very aggressively, going way over the speed limit, yeah. and also carrying all this extra weight and tire pressure down. So yeah, absolutely not the greatest. With the help of my pit crew, proper tire pressure, my load a lot lighter, steady on the pedal, and a little divine guidance to help me avoid my bad habits. Just call me angel of the morning, baby. I took to the road a second time to see just how much gas I could save. This time over 36 miles per gallon. At $4 a gallon, that's a savings of $70 per month, $840 a year. That'll get me three prime seats at Wrigley. For today, Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Chicago. Another way to save money is to buy a fuel-efficient car, and today the federal government is unveiling new fuel economy labels that you soon will be seeing on all new cars. Ray LaHood is the Secretary of Transportation. Mr. Secretary, it's great Good to morning, have you. Matt. Good Thank morning, Good morning. Talk about this label in a second. 381, the average for a gallon of gas right now across the country. How much pressure on the administration to get that price down? Gas prices are killing family budgets. The president gets it. The pre this is part of the president's plan, these new label, part of the president's plan to help people save money at the pump, Matt. That's what people want to do. The these gas prices are killing people. The president gets it. And this is part of our, our plan here. This new sticker even looks different. We're going to see these on 2013 model years. Jump right in. Tell me what's different about the label. Well, it's, it, it's, it's very easy to understand. It tells you immediately what kind of miles per gallon you're going to get, how much you will save over five years, and the annual cost. Very quickly you can read, if you have a smartphone, you click on this uh, little uh, uh, this, uh, thing here, this, uh, and, and you can also see how much uh, you, you, you can save uh, over a long period you of time. You want consumers to make smarter choices and you want to help them Absolutely. do that. Absolutely. This is the Ford Focus, right? That's the Ford Focus. Now let's take a look at this, this car here that's electric and right. gasoline. This is right. the Chevy Volt. Right. And look how this jumps up right here. Absolutely. People are really looking at their opportunities for electrified, for hybrid cars. The Volt is a hot selling car uh, because people can save a lot of gasoline. This tells them the equivalent of uh, uh, the electric, uh, using an electric powered car, how much they will save. How did the auto industry feel about coming along on these things? You know, they're coming along, Matt. They understand that people want to know how much they're going to be able to save. And they want to be able to advertise that. These new uh, stickers really 
tell people quickly how much they're going to save, either electricity or on gasoline. When you look at these numbers, these are great. You want people to buy these cars. Isn't the, the reality, though, when gas prices are high, there's interest in cars like these, and when those prices come down, that interest wanes? Well, look, we want gas prices to come down, but while they're as high as they are, and with the summer season coming on, we want people to have this opportunity. The president understands that high gasoline prices are killing people's budgets, and this is part of the president's plan to really give people the option. And again, you're going to start to see these stickers on 2013 model year cars, which is really not that far. It's just down, exactly. the, just down yeah. the bed. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Matt. Secretary. Thank it's you. great to have Thank you here. You. Thank, Thank you very you. much.